The autopsy report has been released in the death of Ahmad Arbery. The 25 year old's death sparking a nationwide outcry after video of the alleged deadly confrontation was released online. Also this morning, new video is surfacing, this time showing what appears to be Arbery inside the home he's accused of burglarizing. Nick Sturdivant is live outside GBI headquarters with the latest. Good morning, Nick. Good morning, Christy. You mentioned the autopsy report. It was released last night. It revealed that Aubrey was shot twice in the chest. It also revealed that he was grazed on, in, on the inside of his right wrist. According to that report, Aubrey did not have drugs or alcohol in the system at the time. Authorities say Gregory and Travis McMichael confronted and killed Aubrey on February 23rd, believing he was a burglar. Uh, the two were arrested and charged in his death last week. This comes as a third video was released. It shows what appears to be Ahmaud Arbery briefly walking inside a home under construction back in February. That surveillance video was recorded moments before Arbery's death. The state's top prosecutor, Attorney General Chris Carr, made the call to get the feds involved. He told NBC News why. I, I was stunned and I was sickened by it. And I think that's why it's important that we swiftly and thoroughly and transparency get to the bottom of this. And again, that was Attorney General Chris Carr. The new special prosecutor is a Cobb County DA. Uh, we'll have more on who she is coming up in the next half hour. All right, Nick, we'll check back in with you in the next half hour.